The first wave of primary and secondary students are going back to school this morning and here with some advice for helping the children adjust from holiday mode to school mode. We all need a little bit of that. And make the most of the year ahead is attitude specialist Janice Davies. Janice, good morning to you. Good morning. Uh, there, I mean, for some children there's no problem. They're adjusted mm. anyway. They're looking forward to going back to school. Um, but for others, it's, it's a real fight for some parents, isn't it, to, to get their children into school mode? Well, it, it is, and, it, and, and it's the parents' jobs to make them, um, to start to get them to think, think positive and feel good um, and give them a little bit of a boost so that they actually want to go back. So if they talk about their holiday things that they can share with friends, who they're going to get, meet when they go back there and those sorts of things, those are sort of you know, little okay. tips and tricks to get them organised. <clears throat> You've got some, real, some really good tips mm. as well. Yeah. Um, let's talk about positive attitude first mm -hmm. of all. To create a positive attitude in a child about going back to school, essentially the parent should have a positive attitude towards Absolutely. it. Absolutely, yes, yeah. And the parent needs to sort of remind them about the good things that they had at school when they were going back to school, mm. like your school photos that you had on just a wee while ago um, and also some of the things that they did last year, the children did last year that they can do more of this year uh, that they're going to have new clothes, new, new friends uh, new teacher, new classroom so that they actually want to go back there and experience those good fun mm. things that they had I mean, commiserating with the children is probably exactly the wrong thing to do, to say, oh I felt just like you I hated school totally too. Totally wrong. Exactly yeah. the wrong thing to say, yeah. isn't it? Mm. One of your tips which is very good and we'll have all of your tips on our website yes, too yes. people can go to that afterwards um, one of the tips was um, I've, I've basically forgotten it, but it was a very good one, so I'm just going to see if I can read it now. Um, oh, the, the, the fact that the children can go there and talk all about their holidays. So you've Absolutely. had a great time on your holiday, mm. and you'll be able to share all of those stories with the kids when they get back to school. Yes, yeah, yeah. Um, helping get the most out of the year ahead so that they're actually looking forward to things mm -hmm. in the year ahead. Okay, well, a couple of things that I've looked, which is also on the website that you're just talking about, was the success journal, so that as they achieve things, they can actually start to... to create a little journal for themselves. Um, if they can think about their passions, what it is that they want to do, and if the parents can weave those passions into the topics that they have to cover. Now, um, we're going to have the details, as you say, the details yes, of that on the website. Yeah. But just mm. very quickly talk us through it, because it's a very simple thing. I've been talking today about the things to do list, which is printed out. Yes. And a parent could actually print out a sort of a success journal, couldn't yes, they? Yes, yes. So there is the one-page success journal with, on, the, on, the, um, on, the on the website. website yeah. And it's just telling them, it's just got some little prompts of, you know, what I did today, what I felt, what I achieved today, um, some wishes, so that they're actually thinking about the future and what they want to create. Because uh, remember that John Keyes, I mean, I heard on the TV that he, he had his goal as a Prime Minister at Prime 10. Minister. Yeah. yeah, so, so we're, we're, we're trying to get the, th the children to think of the future and, and, you know, ahead as well as what they've achieved today. And little lines like, I am great because Absolutely. and the child has to fill that in. Absolutely. Yeah, yes. it's a great opportunity to sit mm. down and talk with your child as yeah, well. Yeah. Um, basically, uh, going back to school should be fun and it is for the parent to make sure that it is. Absolutely, yes. yes How about the yes. child that comes to you with the real problem? Maybe at the end of the year they were having a problem with bullying or something like that and that is the, that is the main issue. Mm. That's why they're not so keen on going back. If the children are having bullying, it's really important for the parents to keep their communication channel open so that they can talk to them, mm -hmm. so that they can explain that it's okay to like some people but not to like other people and actually work through it. Um, on that file that's on the, on the website as well, um, there are some tips for bullying. There's also some tips for, for building their self-esteem. So, um, you know, bullying makes the, feel, the children feel not okay and then they're not going to achieve. So the what we really want to do with the child. communicate with the child and make them feel good and boost their self-esteem. Brilliant. Janice, yeah. thank you very much for joining us. Okay. Um, attitude specialist Janice Davies. And as we're saying, all of the tips and many more that Janice has been talking about will be on our website. Yeah.